Okay, so uh, anybody that's been following my columns or uh, watch my videos knows I fish a lot of 8-inch uh, slug swim baits for both bass and rockfish. And um, over the years, I've had a lot of problems, as I've many, with the bite to hook up ratio on, uh, on these baits. A lot of times you get bit on a sink, rip flying off the reel, you throw it in gear, you hang for a second, and then the fish is gone. And we used to think that those, and there'd be even bite marks, like here on the bait. So you always thought, hey, these fish are kind of just grabbing the back of this bait. What we're doing is pulling hook at it. I was having a conversation with Corey Sandin of uh, MC Swim Baits, and he really got me thinking that those fish that are biting this bait that's coming down are not biting it from behind. They're biting it head first. So what's happening, these fish are grabbing this bait, loading the rod, and zipping the line up, loading the rod, and the minute you pull, that bait comes out backwards through the hook's pointing in the wrong direction. So I tried a bunch of different things, like a treble hook on the eye of this, a bunch of different ideas to see if I could find something that would actually work a lot better. And um, I did find something. I've been keeping it quiet the last couple of years because I was still fishing bass tournaments. I didn't want to share it with everybody, but uh, to take a break from that, I figured I might as well share this with you guys. So what I did here was I got a lead head and I cut the hook off of it and left a little bar and welded a spring onto it that I could screw into my bait whatever bait, a big swim bait, a slug gulp grub, whatever almost impossible to pull it off of there and I added an assist hook so now this fish bites this thing head first as it's pulled out the assist hook gets the hook in there and uh, to say that this bait has been as close to 100% as you can imagine would be an understatement, I mean this is if you get a bite and it takes the head of the bait, if you get bit on a sink, you're hooking them 100% of the time. And the beauty of this bait as well is that you don't run into a situation where you get down to the bottom, you get bit, and you do this, and now your bait is useless, especially when you're fishing rockfish 150, 200 feet of water. Winding this up is a complete waste of time. And the more fish you catch, the more likely that is to happen. As I say with this, it's not going anywhere, and I've, I've caught dozens if not a hundred fish on a single slug before now that I've changed this rig over and it's pretty easy to do I'm going to show you after this video a couple steps that you can do how to, how to make this I'm sure guys will come up with better ways than I've done it but I'm just a pretty simple guy but uh, it works for me so uh, let's take a look at those now I think you'll need a lead head, a spring which will come off of a weedless swim bait hook or just a spring a cis hook and a split ring and that's a trocar spring there you can use one from the owner or just a spring you have at home a pair of bolt cutters uh, and your lead head, just clip the uh, shaft before the bend and uh, you get your drill and drill a small hole and there are two holes next to each other in the base of the lead head. Slide your spring over that shaft, you get silver solder and heat it up. You can use epoxy, you can use whatever you want, that silver solder works pretty good for me. And uh, I hold in a pair of vice grips so I don't burn my hand, I learned that the hard way, but once I had that in there everything went pretty smoothly. So there you can see me putting it on, apply the torch, you're good to go. And there you have your rig, and you're ready to put your slug, or your swim bait, or your golf rubber, or whatever you want right on it. 